brothers welcome back to dummy nation today we're gonna to be playing as the most upvoted country in the last video a country labeled as hard here in in the game but has actually been quite the challenge for myself which is belarus belarus is kind of on the same level as tunisia belarus starts off in a horrible situation 84th best gdp 68th best military power both of those things are recoverable, but the problem comes when you look into diplomacy. Diplomacy, our only friend is Russia in the world, who is obviously much stronger than us. We are at 2 million, they're at 32 million. And our southern neighbor of Ukraine is another kind of independent target. He's got about 13 million. Problem relies with everybody else who is a part of NATO in the EU. So that we cannot push anywhere over here. We cannot anger anybody over here. We are going to be a prime target for them because we're an autocracy, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and fix our budget. We're going to bring down social spending ever so slightly, bring up military spending and then take down liquidity. That's going to get us about 2.8, which is going to shrink a lot once we actually start investing. But speaking of investing, let's start putting some money into our R&D. And the first thing we're going to want is two levels of combat training and then we're going to want to finish up the rest of reactive armor after this we're not putting any money into military research because we're going to take the rest of our um, research and put or the rest of our research points put it into our economy we're going to get 10 points into economic research cheapen everything else up and go heavy down here now third thing we're going to want to do is invest in our military first things first i want to get about 2k uh, rockets there we go Give me about half of these in gunners and give me about a hundred thousand in commando so we're gonna be fight, fighting people who are mostly on the weaker side and then the rest in tanks so we want a heavy presence of commandos because right now our troops are not very impressive 37k commandos 29 gunners 1k tanks and less than a thousand rockets is not going to get the job done now the next thing we're going to do is uh, move our ideology i've played as an autocracy a number of times it definitely has a good amount of benefits but for us in this situation being so close to nato and being a target for all of them we're going to try and switch to a democracy now the biggest thing that we're going to get out of democracy is liberator we're going to be fighting less of the militias that will form up especially when we fight russia so that's going to be the highest priority for us right now we're going to crank that up to 71 percent, which is going to be pretty expensive actually i'm going to take that down a little bit let's bring that down to 60 and then military service, I'm going to have up to about 6%. Nothing actually. Yeah, we'll have it at 6% for now. We'll, once we go through Russia, we're going to rearrange this a little bit. But let's go ahead and take that down. That will change us into the 49th best political freedom, where Russia is, is 169. So we definitely have some advantage there. And then your political freedom is 99. So if you want to attack Ukraine, we actually need to lower that even a little bit more. And that could be something we want to do. Liberator down to 52 and you're at 99. Yeah, we still wouldn't be able to get through that. That's okay. 44, 99. Actually, we could. So we are fine on that front. It's going to take a while for all this to go through. And then hopefully we can go kind of alliance hunting once we get our troops. If you're not familiar with this game and you're thinking, I can't afford an alliance with anybody, get troops first. And then the people want to be your friend a lot more. So we'll wait on that. Okay, the United States is here. Estonia is taking a little bit, which is actually pretty beneficial for us. We need to start making our own push here. Hopefully you stick around. because We want to go into Moscow, which is right here. But I don't want to fight the entirety of the Russian army because it's still 6 million firepower, which is very strong. I just want to make sure that when the land masses start a, a moving, that we, <laughs> we get uh, our fair share. But so far, we haven't even seen the Russians, so we're going to obviously keep pushing this. But very cautiously, we're going to be going after the economic zones of Russia, which is this sector right here. It's the most important ones that we can get. So if we can get that, we'll be off to the races here. I haven't seen the Russians, so I'm actually going to split here so we can more effectively fight the rebels that are popping up. There they are. How many troops do you have? Let's bring all of our people back together. Send them home. There we go. And we'll fight the Russians here. On this front and as soon as we knock down this army we'll continue our invasions okay they are retreating let's go ahead and fight down this militia and reclaim the land that we lost we still have about six million firepower of our own so all is not lost we just need to be a little bit cautious because russia still has got a million firepower kicking around somewhere that we're gonna have to mosey our way through all right we have completed most of the economic gains we want there's still some areas over here but we need to complete our secondary objective which is making sure that we secure a way out for us 
So we're going to push up here. Now, the reason why I really like Estonia holding this land, I'm probably not going to take it for him, is Germany often gets very aggressive with us and invades this area specifically. They really want that area. So if Estonia is going to kind of block it for us, I'm going to be very happy about that as we just continue our eastward expansion. Once we get this little port city, we'll bring both armies over here and capture the last little bits of China that, rem or excuse me, Russia that remain as Japan's already over here, which is fine. And then we need to go alliance hunting for sure. Okay, we can get a very cheap alliance with China. That is definitely worth it. India, are you alive? No, you're dead. Okay, so we have our alliance with India. And then we had to split the rest of the little bit of land that we with uh, United Kingdom and Japan. But we got what we wanted at the end of the day. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's uh, forget about the islands everywhere. I don't really care about those. Let's just send everybody home as we're still a pretty diminished force at the end of the day. And we need to start gearing up for potentially a war with Kazakhstan or even uh, Ukraine if that falls upon us. Azerbaijan would also potentially be a good target. But 3 million versus 5.6 million is winnable but is it sustainable after that fight i don't know about that i think we just take what we have we're making good amount of money we're the 16th best gdp 30 best military power so we definitely need to crank that number up specifically a lot higher and our alliance with china should protect us for a little bit what's our defensive power 71 china are you not strong could you get stronger <laughs> is uh is anybody else want to be our friends i mean I iran usually is pretty cheap uh oof we'll see if that goes down it's it's cheap enough for us to be able to afford. Ooh, I didn't realize there was land over there. Let's jump over there and grab that. It's cheap enough for us to be able to afford, but we also need to be building up our military. So we need to be a little bit cautious with the amount of troops that we spend. I think there's still some economic zones over here. Eh, not really. I mean, it's land though, so we'll grab it. And I do want to fix my budget to be a little bit closer to the United States. I agree getting research up is probably very good. Military could probably go up a little bit more and liquidity could come down. So that there's is there's we're probably not gonna be able to maintain the same amount that they could, but we'll at least keep up our exchange rate. What is our exchange rate now? 64%. We can get that up a little bit better. Now Japan is in a war with Korea. Ooh, let's get over here and see if we can take Tokyo. You don't have any troops, right? No, no troops at all. This is perfect for us. We invade Japan right here. And potentially even South Korea. I don't know who actually is their friends. Should check that first. No friends. Oh, this is the best case scenario. No friend Japan. Okay, now that we're making about 700, we're still finishing up Japan. I'm going to bring up military service to about 20%. I think it's not going to affect us too much overall. It'll affect, but uh, having just a little bit more defensive power could be the difference between a country attacking us or not. So I definitely think it's worthwhile. I'm very excited to be able to connect our empires so that if we want to go east to west, we don't have to go through anybody else's, especially if like a Mexico gets very weak. That would be very nice for us. Japan, you have an army. You want to come fight me? You do. Okay, let's bring you over just to make sure that's more of an even of a fight. They do have a lot of foot soldiers, which we'll be able to counter with our tanks, but it still hurts us at the end of the day. Get down here and fight that as well. All right, Japan's been defeated. Defeated. We have about 2 million in the bank. That gets us about another 2k tanks, which is going to be very helpful. And I am currently watching a situation develop. Pakistan has almost defeated India, but at like what cost? Like we could just easily go into Pakistan. And in fact, as soon as we get those tanks, I think we do. Let's just bring everybody down here. 4,000 K tanks. Yeah. What's, what is your, what does your diplomacy look like? Nobody likes you either. Oh, this is perfect. And we're almost at our discount to get economic research cheaper. And since we are a democracy, I'm going to go start going down um, digital economy and start whittling down that for right now. But this is going to be a great opportunity. Yeah, uh, Saudi Arabia is already fighting down Pakistan. As soon as this one tank army is here, we're going to start going into the better parts of India that Pakistan has captured. How many troops do you have at this point? Less than a K. Okay, perfect. Let's look at your economy. You have good zones here. Um, I honestly think we just attack right here and push up north. And that is the end of their troops. Wonderful. So we're just going to start moseying our way through and grab what they spent their entire army doing and grab India for ourselves. Okay, and we can spend a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and buy this alliance with the United Kingdom as well. That'll help us out a lot. Was that Our defensive power goes up 50 points with that one move. We start making some friends in Europe which is going to help us out a lot because we're taking more of a democratic point of view. So getting more of these friendships will be helpful, especially with the United Kingdom, who is a little bit on the cheaper side. Poland, I don't suppose you. Yeah, 
some of these guys we're just never gonna be friends with but that's okay at the end of the day um i want that land back give me that land all right and at this point in the game we are third strongest gdp 21st best military power let's go uh we can start going down some levels of digital economy let's bump that up and we're about ready to do another one hopefully that will increase our economy pretty substantially let's see that's 20 yeah i think we do one more level and we just kind of hang out for right now we definitely need to be building up our military we have literally zero of everything four five thousand rockets will help out a lot as you can see we only have 900 right now we we'll actually have more rockets than we do tanks and that's just kind of the, the process we're gonna have to make for right now the only thing that might unentrench me is if iran or kazakhstan fell i think both of those would be nice little moves for us or if like indonesia went down but that's this seems the least unlikely of all those scenarios so We'll just hang out here, just continue building up our military and hopefully chase away people from wanting to attack us. Hey, we went up to eighth with those rockets. So that should be as good as a deterrent as any. Oh, I saw China come over here briefly and fight Kazakhstan. They're down to one million. Yeah, we fight Kazakhstan. Let's check out their economy, mostly here, a little bit down there. Uh, your friends are Kazakhstan. Okay, we can definitely handle that. Let's split what's it well let's attack and let's split and let's get ready to rumble we do have four thousand more tanks on the ready let's bring those guys over that will really strengthen up us up we're 7k tanks oh that's so much better defensive military power is at fifth oh that's very nice and that is the end of kazakhstan azerbaijan why do you still exist really you're just friends with mongolia which honestly probably is a good target themselves Mongolia, what are you? 80th best GDP, 56th. Yeah, I think we just kind of go home and hold a little bit. We can definitely use with a few more troops in every facet, every outlet. So being patient here, I think will be good, even though our empire looks like absolute hot garbage. <laughs> it is a very profitable one. Iran, what happened there? I saw South Korea coming over. South Korea, do you have like a lot of friends? No. Nah. Really, Belgium, Nigeria, and Norway. So if you start to fall, you're going to be a great target. But if you want to go into Iran head full, I'll, I'm a full supporter of that as well. Ooh, cheap alliance with the United States. Absolutely. That just immediately bumped up our economy by 0.2. So that's nice to have. And we're currently doing pretty well for ourselves. Third best GDP, fifth best military power, 30, uh, defense power 35. How's that measure up against like a Germany? Ooh, def you're strong. You guys got real strong. What about you? 57th. Well, we're better than China, so we'll count that in as, a, as a win. We can get this level of self-sufficient economy out there. That's going to be very helpful. We want to work our way up to welfare state, so it is going to be a little bit on the expensive side. So it's just going to kind of be a, a measure between wealth, self-sufficient economy and digital economy, I think, is fine where it's at. So let's just put another eight points into self-sufficient economy. We do have about $4 million in the bank. Hopefully, we can spend that on love to get up to about three before we spent it on tanks getting up to 10k tanks i think would be good we also have to keep keep in mind that ukraine is heavily militarizing they're at 23 million firepower we are at 16 so we definitely need to up our foot soldier gang as well but one step at a time okay in year 2090 we now have an actually sustainable military iran's really buffed up theirs but saudi arabia is pretty weak grand saudi arabia is still friends with a number of these people but we've proven a, a number of times that they are easy to buy off. I want to get through Saudi Arabia and I want to get through Iraq. Those are kind of the gems that I'm looking for right now. So let's go ahead and move over here and start our invasion where Qatar is. Qatar and Bahrain, which Saudi Arabia has taken for themselves. And I think that will be a good little starting off spot. And we'll just be quick on the spot to see who declares war on us and who we really want to buy off. Oman, buy you off. UAE will buy off. Yemen, Egypt's the big one. Egypt doesn't care. Okay, so it's just Iraq it is the last holdout, which is fine because we want to fight them regardless. Oh, and I think uh, Kuwait. That's very expensive for you, Kuwait. You don't have anything. We'll fight that down too. There we go. They are done. Now let's go ahead and fight down Kuwait and then Iraq and claim kind of the Middle East prize that we've been after. Wonderful, and that is the end of that. We didn't really take too much attrition, but we are making 7K a tick now. Uh, how does that put us? Still third GDP, third military power, 61st GDP per capita. What is yours? 
yours is a little bit less than ours. Okay. So that is a good kind of mix. We're saving up until we get to welfare state right now. That's going to help increase our, our, we're saving up until we get to welfare state. That's going to help our population growth, which is going to drive down our GDP per capita and help make things cheaper to buy. So once we get through that, we're going to start working our way backwards and get through um, remittance, which is going to give us economic growth up to 15%. It does reduce our population growth, so we're not going to max it out. We definitely want to max out this. And I would love to get to economic stimulus, if at all possible, just to kind of really buff our e economy. But we'll just kind of wait around here. I believe we're close. I mean, we're approaching China in terms of percentage, but we still have a long ways to get off of from that. So we just kind of hang out here for the time being. And Iran's gone into the UAE. You know what? Let's just finish up everybody over here. Oman, Yemen, let's just grab them all. Ooh, Iran's out of troops. Oh, buddy. Okay, get everybody here. We need to find the economic zones of Iran, mostly here. Okay, good. Let's just attack right here and let's take out Iran. And let's go ahead and finish off Azerbaijan as well, just to kind of get them out of the way. Now, I think the people not what happened. Okay, no, we, we had lost our alliance with the UK. We got that one back. Still allied to you. That's good. We still have all the alliances we need. And now we have a nice little easy way north and south. Okay. Good. Turkey really hates us. Turkey, um, you want to just, yeah, a little peace treaty right there. I kind of want to take out Mexico. Tell me about Mexico. Two million. Oh, buddy. Two million tied up in rockets. Okay, give me some commandos, and then we go into Mexico. You can also get another level of welfare state out there. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, things are looking really good for us. Okay, this will be an expensive war just in terms of the amount of troops that we're going to have to dedicate to because Mexico will bring up a lot of rebels, but also we're going to have to buy off a number of people. We'll see how many actually declare war on us. So far, Argentina, Ukraine, and Singapore. Singapore exists still, huh? Oh, I'm going to go into Singapore next. Okay, but Ukraine will buy off. All right, Mexico has been defeated. Great news. And then let's just take our troops and take care of somebody who was attacking us the entire time, which is Singapore. They should not have too many troops left. They have 231 tanks. They're good friends with Indonesia and Australia. Let's go ahead and buy an alliance with Indonesia. And then we have how much? Tell me about our military. Probably could use. Oof, that's real expensive. Give me more rockets. In the year 2141, we've been building up our military, kind of entered a Cold War state. We finished up uh, welfare state. We're about to finish up the last level of remittance, and then we can start going down economic stimulus, which is what we're going to put most of our points back into for the remainder of the game. We are doing pretty well. We've jumped up to 28%, which is still third, but considering that we started about 20 points behind China is pretty impressive. We also do have about 30 million in the bank, which is not buying us a ton, but our military is very impressive. We'll just finish up these guys. Hopefully this will carry us a little bit closer to 5 million, 2 million. Then we want to get this probably up to about 40 and this up to 20. And I think that'll be a pretty substantial army that can defeat whatever comes against us, especially as our economy. What take a look at our growth is at 4%. Ooh, that's real nice, real nice to have. And we're just going to keep pumping up those numbers. Okay, so we have economic stimulus. It, it says we can just put it on a region. Ooh, that's exciting. Can we just put it on our capital maybe? And then economy, did that make it bigger? Yeah, kind of. I'm not 100% sure how it works. We'll put it in a dead area. Let's put it like right here. Yeah, it does a little. Oh, look at the economic growth we're getting. Ooh, that's kind of worth it. That's real nice. Let's see if we can pair this with war economy. Allocate your research more effectively to your military assets, lowering the maintenance cost of all your troops by 50%. This is spent on a daily basis and will take full time to take effect. You know, as long as we keep above 1.64, I think we keep this, if I'm, if I'm correct. Now I'm just kind of wanting to see if I can win this economically. We've gotten some new friends. We've gotten uh, Germany, Poland, Turkey on our side. And uh, we could really make a go of this. Are you we not friends anymore, brother? Did you get that back? Wow, we're actually about ready to overtake the United States. We've drugged them down to our level and we continue to keep growing. This is real nice for us. I mean, goodness gracious, we could probably win an economy here. 
I'm going to keep investing in the military, at least for right now, just in case something drastic changes. You see the United States has kind of been forced to go into Spain here to keep competitive with us. But we're about ready to overtake them. I mean, only 2% away, that's real nice. Economic stimulus is no joke. We do it again? What do we need? We need 70 million. Do it again. Um, put me... Wait, wait, wait. Put it right here. Dang, look at our progress just skyrocket right now. This is really fun. Here, I don't even know if we're gonna have to fight another war. Um, let's throw it. Ooh, I don't know where's a wasteland or not. Uh, I, th I know this was cropland over here. Let's put like right here. Ooh, the United States is falling. I mean, don't get me wrong. 90 million is not nothing to mess around with. But we could potentially rock them. We'll see if they go down any weaker. But that's interesting. That's interesting for sure. Because, you know, if we go through China, look, we got to go through 30,476,000 firepower. United States, though, 129. We're at 40%. And we're climbing real fast. Oh, we finally slowed down a little bit. Here, let's do one more economic stimulus. <laughs> let's get us up just a little bit better. Here, we'll put it right on our capital. Boom. It does stack. I did check that. And uh, economy, yeah, 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 keep going, keep going. Looks great. Keep bumping those numbers up. We're far and ahead in first place right now, 41%. If we took the United States, we'd be at 70. We'd have to take the United States and potentially the United Kingdom in order to win this game. So I think cautiousness is the path forward. But if anybody really just falls, we will take advantage of it. Let's start working down international aid to end social research that we that eases the negative spread effect of your international diplomatic interactions by 30%. So it's going to be easier for us to go to war with people. I definitely think that's going to be a worthwhile endeavor. We also have a G in the bank. Um, let's buy some gunners. Can't buy a ton of them. Those guys are very expensive, but hey, at least we'll get a few of them out there. Oh, we can buy one more. Yeah, there we go. And so far, military is looking good. We're just kind of waiting for China or the United States to make to blink first. Technically, United States is weaker. I honestly think we'd be better against China just because we have so many rockets. And once we take care of their tanks, all we got to do is push through their militias. And I think we win that front pretty easily. Ooh, Egypt's falling. Let's see if we can jump down here. Germany's going into them. Let's see if we can also grab a little bit for ourselves. Ooh, it looks like they're leaving. Nice, nice, nice. We can get all of Egypt for ourselves. There we go. Egypt is ours. Wonderful. We're up to 44% of our goal. Let's take a look at our allies. See who, if anybody unallied us. United States did. Brother, I want you as my friend. 8 million to get it back. Germany didn't like that move. Forget you, Germany. <laughs> we, I think it's time we parted ways. 700 million. Get out of here, brother. We're fine. Turkey. Did we ever get an alliance with you? 300 million. Eh. And then we still have an alliance with the uh, Ukraine. Okay, good. So let's start game planning. We have 40%. We need to get to 100%, which means we're probably going to need to go into China or the United States. Hmm. I think we just game plan with a few more rockets out there and just kind of wait and see again i don't want to fight the Ch i don't want to fight either one until they're very weak so i think we just continue to keep building up for right now and let's go ahead and finish off mongolia while we're while we're thinking about it it won't help out a ton but it'll get us a little bit farther into into the land that we want they don't have any friends other than turkey turkey's not the biggest fan of us either so i think we can get away with this move at least for right now as we just continue to keep building up our troops and since Ukraine doesn't have any friends other than us, I think we just go into Ukraine right now, too. Let's go ahead and grab that little bit of territory for ourselves. It will anger a few more people in the world, but at this point, we need to start taking territory. Now, after that, still good friends with most of the big players in the world. Not Germany anymore, but we knew that. Um, who is this? Just kind of futzing around. Oh, Norway? Hmm. Also take out Sudan really quickly. I think we could do, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and go for more, a little bit more land. Oh, that put us at war with you, huh? No, you, you're fine. You're fine. No, no, no. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, 
Freaking United Kingdom's going to war with us over Sudan? What have I done wrong? But no, 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 it's not that at all. Okay, but we have finished up mostly international aid, so now we're going to start going down moral high ground. Reduce the monetary cost of your diplomatic actions by up to 200%. That is going to be very helpful. That's going to give us permission to start going into some of these weaker players and buying off their allies. Because, like, we would love to go into Turkey, but that would involve going into France. And who else? Norway. Honestly, not a lot of people really like Turkey at this point. But Turkey has, like, 20k tanks. I don't even know if I want to do that. Uh, especially considering that you have 8k i mean you got 30 million but we could still crush that pretty effectively at least that's kind of the thought oh okay i'm gonna do something a little bit risky i'm gonna get the, ten the rockets and i think we go to war with the united states we have 40k rockets against their 30k tanks that's all they really have they are in second place that'll put us at 80 and then we just need to go through somebody like germany which, yeah, Germany's strong, but are they strong enough to defend against us? I don't know. Maybe even just Ch China at the end of the day would be a nice one just to roll through. Maybe we roll through China first since most of the world hates them and then finish on the United States. I think that might be the play. Meanwhile, we're going to keep uh, investing in moral high ground. And since we're... Let's just commit to going into China and just keep buying tanks. Now, China is only 17% of the world, so we're really going to need to have a lot of this left over once we fight through them to fight the United States. But I think we'll have the time to recover. Let's just go ahead and see how well we equipped we are against them. Here's a big chunk of their army. Fortunately for us, it's not all grouped up. And, ooh, we just ran through them very effectively. Now, we did lose a lot of tanks. We lost about 20k tanks in that one engagement, but now we can kind of roll through the rest of, of China. Why did Germany declare war on us? Here, peace treaty with you. And let's make sure we head south where their land, it, their economic zones are. So progress is going well. Well, my overall goal is just to block everybody from being able to get to China. I want all of this for myself. So we're really pushing down here to try and grab this. I'll eventually send somebody over to India to grab that as well. But at, in terms of economy zones that we're grabbing, this is all very much worthwhile. So there's no real bad place to go in China other than Tibet for money. And we're pretty happy with the progress we're making. We've ordered a few more tanks. We're going to keep them, keep them in reserve for right now. Our military is more than adequate to fight anybody else. We're at 199. What was yours at? 86. Yeah, so we could take down the United States and they're the second strongest by far. So we just kind of roll through China and uh, get the... Get the, all the reap the benefits of our hard fighting. Okay, so we've done a good job of wrapping up most of mainland China. They still have some overseas territories, which I'm not the most concerned about. Some other actors have started to get involved for some of the lesser holdings. But again, we're doing just fine. And if we time this right, we could go into the United States and just outright win the game. United States, how are your friends? Let's take a look at your diplomacy. You are good friends with um, me. <laughs> like best of friends with me canada uk how good of friends are we with the, the uk loves us okay so maybe we can just win this economically i don't know we'll just we'll play this by ear we'll finish up china and then we'll make some we'll make those hard decisions okay that is china done let's go ahead and head home with our giant massive army which we basically already built back up we just need to replenish the rockets a little bit more and i think we might be ready for war with the united states and just end this as they have some friends that we're going to have to buy off. Uh, Canada, Australia, UK, France, Netherlands. That should be honestly not that bad. Especially as we've already invested a couple points or we've put a lot of points in the moral high ground. So it's a lot cheaper to get that done. So let's just, um, hmm, you know what? Let's just go fight the United States right now. We got 29G in the bank. Let's go ahead and fight them. Slow this down and see how much they have right here. They have basically their entire army right here, but we counter it very effectively. And has anyone declared war on us? Nobody has yet. How about now? Nope, everyone's cool with it. All right. And since we're at the end game, I'm going to start investing in blind nationalism. So when we're getting invaded, there's a better chance that you know, our militias will rise up and defend our territory, which is exactly what we want. We're building another army that we can get over here. It's going to be tough going because the United States invested in a lot of the defensive abilities, just like China did, as most people do in the year 2020, 99. <laughs> but uh, United States still has about 7 million kicking around somewhere. So we have to be a little bit cautious with our troops. But right now, it's just kind of free real estate as they are splitting a lot of their armies and coming out as piecemeal. That is the end. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and grab everyone and just tell them to go. Okay, United Kingdom's invading us. We do want to buy that one off, 2.8 G, just to not slow down our progress that we're making. We're at a we're at 92%, so we, as long as we can just move a little bit faster, we will be fine. Let's just keep splitting our armies. Get over here. That's where a lot of the economic zones are. We can crush those rebels along the way. Ooh, we're close. 98. We might get there with Los Angeles. That might be too. I don't know. Frick. Okay, still a little bit short. Um, you go rebel hunting, and the rest of them can find pieces elsewhere. 99. Indonesia's invading us. Come on, just get it done. Get it done. 99.99. Um, bye. Bye. Okay, we need a target. Turkey is our target. Let's just get down to Turkey. Get everybody over there. Give me as many tanks as we can get, and we're just going to roll through them. I don't know how much military they have. Maybe we go through Estonia. Just kidding. Yeah, we'll go through Estonia. Mm, France stole some of our land. Come on. Just go. Let's roll through Estonia. I think we could get it done with Estonia. If not, we'll fight everybody. Who cares? We could not get it done through Estonia. Okay, to France. This is even moving the needle. Who's in second place? UK? Fine, you convince me. War with England. Go. Oh my god, this is a true world war at the end. 96% can't get it done. Can't get it done. The blind nationalism is really paying off, though. We just need to keep increasing that. And that should hopefully defend us until we can strike back at some people. Who can get us 5%? United States. They still have holdings. Okay. We go fight the, the rest of the United States. That's our plan. Nobody cared when we did that. We just do that quickly. Quickly and quietly. Turkey's become a problem we gotta deal with. Go home. It's absolute chaos at the end. We cannot get people to stop declaring war on us. Hold on. Blind nationalism all the way up. That's gonna help us out a lot. Um, can we go to war economy? No, we can't. We're still pretty far away from that. Okay, well, we're close. We're close. Okay, Turkey's at least been defeated. Go home. Who's weaker? Germany, 37. You're 67. I think we can fight down Germany. Let's get this last little bit of troops done, and then we're going into Germany. Take me into Germany. 37 million versus 100 million. We should definitely win this. We only need a percentage. So as soon as we get their army, we'll scatter and we'll win. There we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've never had a game come so close to coming unraveled there at the end. But as soon as we were just attacking London, attacking France, and it was just like, oh no, everything's falling apart. <laughs> oh, but Belarus was fun. Thanks for the suggestion. If you have a nation you want me to play next, uh, put it in the comments down below. And I'll pick the most upvoted one. But for now, boys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.